And with COVID cases going up here in Arizona and across the country, quarantine fatigue and kids going back to school yet a maybe factors. Yeah, Chris Pickle investigates if our increase in cases could be connected to a decrease in unemployment benefits. We kind of had to take down a lot of tables. The pandemic brought big changes at Irma's, a little family restaurant tucked away on Roosevelt Row. We have signs that says, please wash your hands. Deep cleanings, temperature checks, oh, yeah. and even the way Amada Lopez interacts with customers, who she sees as family. No hugs now. Now there's no hug, I do my wave, and you know, some of them try, and I'm like, no, you still have to, you know, six feet apart. Early in the pandemic, the restaurant was forced to close. For this single mother, unemployment benefits did not even cover basic bills. I couldn't make the payments on things that we needed. Um, it was difficult to, you know, afford food, pay my car, pay electricity. Amada now monitors the number of COVID cases daily, but other numbers found on the Arizona Department of Economic Security website may help explain why COVID cases are surging. We talked to an expert on the economy who did not want to go on camera because of his position, but he walked us through how data shows COVID cases coincide with people no longer being able to afford to stay home, and it's linked to the government. This graph tracks the number of cases per week during the pandemic. Just before Arizona peaked in June, Arizona's economy got a significant cash infusion. On top of the state's weekly $240 in unemployment benefits, the federal government added $600 a week for people impacted by COVID, plus three weeks worth of benefits. Assistance checks went out for more than $2,100. Just two weeks after that influx of cash, new cases flattened, then declined until the last assistance payments, averaging more than $800 in early September. When the federal money went away and unemployment payments dropped down into the three and then $200 range, the data shows COVID cases started climbing again. This is not a situation that no one could have predicted. In July, our political editor, Dennis Welch, pressed the governor on the possibility of this happening. And with people lose, going about to lose that $600 a week in federal unemployment insurance, um, it sounds like your plan is to wait and see what Congress can I'm not, do. That's not the plan. That's what you said. The, the plan has been in cooperation and alignment with Congress a along the way. Yeah, but what does Congress have to do with Arizona having the second lowest unemployment benefit in the country at $240 a week? You know, people aren't going to be able to survive on that. What options are you looking at right now? As we transition through this, it will require further cooperation with Congress. I don't have anything else to add right now. Well, I mean, we've done our job on this, Dennis. I need Congress to act. Three months later, Congress has failed to reach a deal on a new stimulus plan, which is expected to include another round of stimulus checks and federal unemployment benefits. Chris Pickle. Arizona's family.